How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here and holy crap, the trade deadline is right around the corner and we've had our first major splash. The Winnipeg Jets and the Buffalo Sabres have completed a blockbuster deal. It's a big one. Evander Kane and Zach Bogosian going to the Buffalo Sabres and coming back to the Winnipeg Jets, Tyler Myers, Drew Stafford, Joel Armia, Brendan Lemieux, and a first round pick to the Winnipeg Jets. Holy crap, talk about a blockbuster deal, all right? And you know what? There's going to be a lot of talk going back and forth about uh, which team got the better end of this deal. You know, I'm breaking it down, and I see positives for both sides. I really do. We'll talk about the Buffalo Sabres first, right? And with the Buffalo Sabres, obviously, they're having a bad year, but they have an accelerated rebuild, in my opinion. You know they're going to be good soon. Basically, the way they're playing right now, they've guaranteed themselves a, a Connor McDavid or a Jack Eichel, right? They have Sam Reinhart from last year. Gergensen's is having a great year. So, in my opinion, down the middle, they're fine when it comes to the center position. Again, McDavid, Eichel, Reinhardt, uh, Gergensen's, right? They got a possible three out of these four guys. You also have Grigorenko and uh, Ristolainen, and Zadorov, right? All these younger players who are still trying to get that NHL experience, right? But the consensus is these guys are going to be good in a few years. But they also have a young core of low to mid 20-year-old players who do have NHL experience who are just waiting to break out. Guys like Tyler Ennis, who's 25 years old. Cody Hodgson, who's 24 years old. Uh, Stewart, who's 27 years old. They may trade him. They were talking about trading him. But now they have Evander Kane, who's 23 years old, and Zach Bogosian, who's 24. So it's like... All these younger players coming into their team, they're not going to be relied upon like the younger players in Edmonton to be the studs. Ennis, Hodgson, Stewart, if he stays, Kane and Bogosian, these guys are going to be the main players, and the younger players can work themselves into the lineup. Guys like Connor McDavid and Eichel, if they get one of those two guys. Reinhardt, Gergensen's has already had a full NHL year, right? But they get younger players who are high-profile players. I mean, Zach Bogosian was drafted, what, third overall in one year? Vander Kane was drafted fourth overall, right? So these guys Guys, they could be on the brink of a breakout year. So I like what the Buffalo Sabres did. Um, they did give up a lot. Again, they gave up Tyler Myers, Drew Stafford, Joel Armia, Brendan Lemieux, and a first-round pick. I don't know what the first-round pick is going to be. They have third, uh, three first-rounders this year, so um, maybe it's going to be the Islanders' first-round pick or something like that. I was trying to figure out which one it was. They didn't tell me. So that's... It's interesting. The Buffalo Sabres, man, they're stacking up. They really are. You know they're going to have good center core, their defensive core with uh, Ristolainen, you know, back there, Zadorov, and now they have Zach Bogosian in there as well. They're definitely having an accelerated rebuild, like I said. And now let's jump over to the Winnipeg Jets. What do the Winnipeg Jets get? Now, you know, when I first saw this trade, I was like, holy shit. They, I could understand the Evander K, uh, Kane being moved out of Winnipeg, right? Because he, um, you know, not getting along with the locker room. Better just to get him out before the toxicity poisons everyone there, right? So get him out of there. That's fine. But to give... Uh, Zach Bogosian up, man. That's a big one right there. I thought that Bogosian would be like a franchise defenseman for the Winnipeg Jets. Every time Winnipeg plays Toronto, I'd always listen to the commentators talking positively about Zach Bogosian, how this guy is the real deal, right? So when I saw that they gave up Bogosian, I was like, holy crap, Buffalo might have got something special there. But... The Winnipeg Jets get Tyler Myers back, who's only one year older, and he's a freaking, he's a monster, man. He's like Chara 2.0, right? And the prospect of having Tyler Myers and Dustin Bufflin on the same line in a playoff series, that's scary. That's two big defensemen. I feel sorry for the Buffalo Sabres, I mean, uh, the Winnipeg Jets goaltender. You're not going to be able to see over those two guys, man. Holy crap. So, you know, when you compare Myers for Bogosian, I think Buffalo definitely wins that trade if you just take those two players. But since Winnipeg also replaces Bogosian with that right-handed defenseman, so, you know, you're getting a replacement right there, and he's only one year older. You also pick up a depth winger who's only got one year left on his contract, and Drew Stafford, who can fill in, I don't know if he's going to fill in for Evander Kane, but he can fill in that middle six as a depth winger, right? Let Bufflin go back to defense. He can fill in, maybe play alongside of uh, Perot and Shifley, right? So that will help out. And again, you get a first rounder, a pick from the first round, who was Joel Armia a few years ago or last year, I forget, and a pick from the second round, 31st overall, Lemieux from last year. I mean, this trade works out for both teams. I think the Winnipeg Jets, they get rid of Kane, so they don't have to worry about the poisonous... Um, you know, back and forth talking. They just get that problem out of there. They replace Bogosian, all right? They get the depth winger who can play in their middle six, and they also still help themselves out in the future with two top prospects and a first rounder, right? So it's like they help themselves out for this year, not incredibly, 
they just, they, you know, they bolstered their attack a little bit, but they also didn't sacrifice their future. And while the Buffalo Sabres, they fa sacrificed a little bit of their future, but they brought in immediate talent that looks like they're going to be able to produce next year, right? So I really feel like it's a good trade for both teams. I do. Winnipeg has reloaded for a push this year and has not sacrificed the future. And the Buffalo Sabres still look strong for the future. In fact, they look like they could be a competitive team next year if Kane and Bogosian, you know, turn out to be the kind of players that they were supposed to be. So that's, oh man, what a mega deal. Again, there's going to be a lot of you guys commenting that these the Winnipeg Jets got the better end, the Buffalo Sabres. I think it really does work out for both teams. When I did my Winnipeg Jets shootout commentary, I was talking about Evander Kane being traded to Buffalo for like a Matt Molson because the team worked. You trade him to a team that's not going to be in the playoffs, but a team that wants a young 23-year-old sniper, right? But I never thought that Bogosian would go. Tyler Myers going back the other way. Holy crap, all right? So I want to know, who do you guys think got the better end of this deal? I think think if I have to pick one I gotta say the Buffalo Sabres I do I know the Winnipeg Jets they got a lot from that but man if Bogosian ends up being a legitimate top two defenseman and if Evander Kane ends up being a legitimate 30 40 goal scorer with the centers that they're gonna have coming up in the next few years you know that's that's a nice that's a nice combination I gotta go with the Buffalo Sabres again we gotta see how Kane and Bogosian play next year I think the safer trade is for the Winnipeg Jets but if, if Bogosian, again, if Bogosian ends up being a stud defenseman and Kane ends up playing alongside of McDavid or Eichel getting 40 goals a season, oh my god. And I get to watch that being a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, so that's going to be fucking brutal. Alright, so let me know what you guys think about this mega trade, and hopefully this starts the domino effect of all the trades. Alright, because I want to see some major trades this year, especially as a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. So get it started, but what a great, uh, great trade to start off the trade deadline this year. A mega deal, my goodness.